What's good fam? Karibuni sana Tanzania. Welcome to Tanzania and today I'm in the University of Dar es Salaam and we'll be checking out the vibe and seeing what's popping in this university here in TZ. Stay tuned baby. <laughs> So right now I'm in the university guys and before we start off the walk and really check out the vibe here at the university I want to show you this t-shirt you can see I'm wearing the Tanzanian t-shirt I got it in blue color now you can get this on my website link in the bio and I've also pinned it to the comment section so check out my t-shirt my merchandise and get your t-shirt game on point for the summer guys so the University of Dar es Salaam, very interesting place. It was established in 1961 and it's a very important institution, learning institution here in Tanzania. Now you will find postgraduate courses, bachelor's courses, you can do bachelor's here and in all different types of subject from language, anthropology, history, um, accounts, different things, social work, all these subjects can be studied here at the University of Dar es Salaam. So it's definitely a very important learning institution here in Tanzania. You also had great um, professors, for example, Walter Rodney, who wrote a book called How Europe Underdeveloped Africa. He was once a professor here at the University of Dar es Salaam. Even Malcolm X, he gave a speech here at the University of Dar es Salaam a very long time ago. So a lot of great people, a lot of influential thinkers, speakers, historians, many people studied here. Even some of the leaders here in Tanzania, they have their beginnings um, in terms of the university beginnings of learning right here at this university guys so we're gonna check it out see what the vibe is like and let's see what's popping over here so we're gonna take a stroll it's a it's a nice day so we're gonna do it together guys you know we're gonna take a stroll it's a nice sunny day it's a nice vibe that's what I do man really try to get the vibe of the place wherever I go so let's see what's happening over here let me show you what I'm seeing right now So um, one of the things you'll notice when you come to the university, there's a mixture of students here. We got, of course, students who are from Tanzania and we also have students who come from other different parts of Africa and also international students from across the world. And I believe we're walking up to a mosque right now. They do cater for people's various religious beliefs. And today's a Friday, so you see a lot of people going to the mosque for Juma today. Juma is a very important um, day in Islam. Like Christians have Sunday, Muslims have their special day on Friday where they congregate together for Friday prayers and stuff like that. So it's a vibe, baby. I'm liking it so far, like, guys. If you really look, look how green and clean the place is you know what i mean like literally one of the first things you look for in a learning institution is how well kept the place is the premises is and what i'm seeing here i'm really impressed with what i'm seeing of how the place look they really take pride in maintaining a very decent and good look of their learning institution so that's good i'm feeling the energy here guys definitely this side is more quiet we're gonna take a walk on the other side. Oh, look at that here. We got a little monkey roaming around. All right. One of the things I've, I've seen quite a few of them since I've been here. If you look over there, guys, I'm not sure if you all could see, but there's a few of them just chilling there, man. Just relaxing, doing their thing. You know, that's what they do. So all of this here is actually um, halls of residence for the various students that um, stay on campus. So you get a lot of first years and stuff like that. So this is just the top here where the halls are. And of course we have the mosque there. So we're gonna walk to the other side and see more of the vibe here at the university. 
So yeah guys, I was just walking and so our student came up to me and they don't mind being in the vlog so he's gonna tell us about his experience studying here at the University of um, Dar es Salaam. How you doing? Hello. Sure, I'm great, I'm great. My name is Joshua Paul Masare. Okay. They call me Junior Josh. Okay. I like being like a, a little, like to learn from others. So yes, uh, he asked me about the experience of... Yeah, but before we get to the experience, um, how long have you been studying at the university? Oh sure, okay. I'm in first year. Oh, it's your first year? First year, so okay. I mean it has been only, I mean maybe eight, eight months. Okay. Yeah, I came here in t last year. Okay. From from uh, from my from advanced advanced level, that is much technical secondary school. Okay. Yeah, so it's in Kilimanjaro, by the way. Kilimanjaro. I love Kilimanjaro. I love Kilimanjaro. I'm, I'm native from Kilimanjaro. Okay. Yeah. So. That's so you are Chaga. I'm a Chaga. Okay. With a pure Chaga. So my mother. Yeah. Is a Chaga. My father is a Chaga. Okay. So. I'm pure Chaga. All right, and Chaga is one of the um, tribes here in Tanzania. They're quite um, big, predominantly in Kilimanjaro. So let me ask you, what course are you studying here at the University of Dar es Salaam? Okay, currently, because I'm a Chaga, Chaga like about money, and you all know. So I'm taking much of commerce, banking, and financial services. Okay. Uh, that's always been my thing, like money, cash. All right. So, sure. So banking and um, financial services. So what made you decide to study that course what, what inspired you to study that course oh sure that's a very good question for it i have a lot of answers and i always love to talk about this uh because i mean many people really don't understand me because i i have i took pcm in in form five and form six and which formerly i took pcb for three months then pcm and i changed that to business so answering that i can say that it was just me, my passion. I got Division One in PCM, so which which a lot, which was actually, I mean, uh, able to take me to any course that I wanted to. Okay. So I could go for engineering and at any sector. But I was like, wait, engineering was not my thing. So I'm all right. And I was like, wait, I think I need something else. I love money and I love studying about money more than anything. So okay. that this time came and I was like, no, no, I need something else. I've been studying physics and for more than uh, I don't know. And I was ready to, to find other place to look. So I took a bunch of commerce and bank and services just to, to learn about money and uh, more about uh, how money works, financial um, things. So you wanted to learn about how money works? Money works. Okay. And guess what? Yeah. I have le started learning money and it is interesting. Okay. One of my books, uh, from my favorite books from Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yeah, Rich Dad Poor Dad. That's a so good book. So that gave me some, like, wait, I have to learn about money. Okay. So. Robert Kiyosaki in his book is like learn, learn, learn and I was like wait I'm learning physics of money I gotta go for money but wait I don't say physics about it no because we need some people to learn physics and some people to learn you know other subjects okay we need engineers so they have tech physics but let us tech uh, all right no sure. problem so let me just ask you just to close now um we're right now we're at the University of Dar es Salaam sure, sure. and how is it studying at the University of um, Dar es Salaam? What's the experience? Okay, sure. Okay, answering that, first first of all, I mean, not everybody who applies here gets a position in here. This is very competitive university and... It's competitive to get in? Get in, yeah, sure. Okay. Only competent students get inside here. Okay. And if you ask, I mean, any, any student out there in an advanced level, would you go and... Like, it is them, we call it it is a university of that some yeah. So studying here is like very, very, very good. It has I mean best buildings. I mean we have like these good teachers in here. Yeah. We have these experienced and educated and well trained teachers. Okay. Trainers, right? Yeah. So like for instance, ever it's always my thing when I work in the morning, like what's the lecture today? I have to arrive before like 10 minutes before the lecture, so that I want to get every single detail that a, a trainer was to deliver that day. So it has been great. And uh, if like you're finding university, you know, the Islam is the best for you. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank you so much for um, being on the show, man. Thank you very much. And wait, I, I want to be in the show once more again. Okay. So 
I want to make like, hey, we talk with the brother. Like, hey, I want to be in. All right. Sure. Oh, we talk. Sure. All right. So that is a native of Tanzania. He's from the country here in Tanzania, and he oh, related yeah. his experience of what it's like to study at the University of Dar es Salaam. And for him, he said it's positive, and you can see he's learning a very um, interesting course about finance and and stuff like that. So that's really good, guys. All right, so this side of the university is definitely really nice. I really like the architecture of the buildings here and it gives the university a really lovely feel when you visit. So let's explore the library section here at the University of Dar es Salaam, guys. So we're gonna walk in and really see more of how the place looks. And you know, let's get a vibe of the place, man. So let me show you what I'm seeing right now. feel of the place really clean I really like that they incorporated some trees and stuff some grass and all of that it gives it, it gives it a bit of a park feel as well feels like you're in a park but there's some nice buildings that's within the park so that's really nice and I see they're trying to incorporate um, some palm trees here if you can look they're trying to grow them so hopefully in the next few years these will be really nice once you're coming in create that lovely shade on a summer day so this is the University of Dar es Salaam this is the library section so this is where the students will come and get it in I'm not sure if I could really film inside that's a bit of a gray zone but you're getting the idea of what it's like you're getting a close-up this is it right here you know University of Dar es Salaam library that's the vibe so children are learning man they you know people are learning here and really trying to do the best that they can you know to make something of themselves their careers and and all of that over here in tanzania and that's always a good thing go a seat in area here students just kick back chilling doing their thing So, one of the things you'll notice when you come here is that, of course, like, this is more of the newer section of the university. As we walk to other places, you might find some older buildings, but these are, like, some of the newer section of it. And it's quite a big university, guys, I must say. And in the beginning of the, of the um, vlog, I was telling you that this university has been around since 1961, so it has been around a long time. But it's good to see that despite of how long it's been around, they still continue to maintain, upgrade the place and all of that, you know? And, that, and that's always a good thing when you see that. Really have the water spraying, water sprays there. Make sure the grace go, grass goes, grows right. So this is where we just walked from there, the library, real state of the arts looking type of building, man. You know what I mean? So you can see this section here is kind of like the old older parts of the university of Dar es Salaam so you can see the buildings is a bit dated in comparison to these ones over there clearly but it's still uh, it's still well maintained in my opinion I don't get um I was, it's not dirty there's not like rubbish and, and litter and stuff all over the place so this is it we're going to walk up the next side. Mm. 
So let me know how you lot feel about this university, guys. You know, a lot of people who watch me, you lot are obviously from countries which are outside Africa. What do you think about what you're seeing here in comparison to universities where you're coming from? I mean, would you consider even studying here, for example? Like, do you think that this is a place where you can, you know, come over and get your learning game on, you know? So all these buildings here are actually various classrooms and different departments where students will be studying in the university guys. So this is just basically different departments and buildings where children come for their lectures at the university. So this is what it's like from the outside. Really lovely day. Now over there on the left, this is where you'll find some students who will sit down and relax when they're coming from their course and stuff like that. seating area here really nice I like how they incorporated the seating area and some grass there and this is real nice man Africa got vibe if they told you Africa ain't got vibe they're lying to you man the university nightlife good culture of course there's negatives everywhere you go but you know inspiring travel inspire for travel is highlighting the positive aspects of the place you know what i mean there's a there's a lot of negativity out there let's let's make a difference let's show some of the 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 good side to the place you know what i mean so we're just tra traveling through and like I said, man, it really looks like a park, a real big park, but it got so much buildings dotted around the place. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting from here, man, and it's, it's real nice. I like that. One thing I will say, though, a lot of students are scared to be on camera, man, you know, and truth be told, you got to be careful filming around and stuff. It's not really just filming any and anywhere so some students they're not really on it man but i trust that you lot got a a good idea of what the vibe is like at the uni This is like a kind of a grass line area here. These trees, they got stuff hanging down, roots hanging down it looks like. And this is like a mini bridge. And what I like about it, it's a hot day, but you really get the shade, you know what I mean? Like the, the, the cool of the day right here, you know? Real cool and nice. 
and it goes far up as well guys like literally this is the UD you know this is real like yo I'm telling you this is like the kind of a swamp area down there and you can hear the water flowing while you're walking here real eco-friendly type of vibe these are all holes where st students are studying Hello. So we're walking up to another side. Like, look how big this branch, this roots is, man. Like, these are just hanging down on these trees here. Wow. <laughs> That's real thick. I could tell these trees been around a long time. So, so all this are where students are coming for their classes, the various departments. But look at this amazing um architectural design here man i really like it wow not sure where it's made from i feel it it feels like um kind of like iron so yeah local artistic work and people are literally just sitting down buildings that way I On a nice hot day, here's the perfect place to be, man, at the university, just to sit down and relax and chill out, you know? walking back to the bridge again guys and just enjoy being in nature out here man so if you're abroad you're thinking wow what's the university is like in Africa if you want to study then you could consider the University of Dar es Salaam 100% man <laughs> so yeah guys we've not really seen what a university is like here in Dar es Salaam didn't really get to well I spoke to different students and stuff but the ones that I met didn't really want to be on camera so at least you've got an idea just wanted to show you what you expect to see around the university giving you a real feel and a vibe of the place um, I've liked it so if you're considering if you want to study in Africa if you want to study in Tanzania in particular 
you could definitely um, consider the University of Dar es Salaam. They have a lot of various courses, even Swahili courses for people who want to learn the language of Kiswahili. You could definitely check them out. There is a website, so you can go on the website, contact number and everything is provided. So you can talk to people in the various faculties. So yeah, it's been amazing guys. I trust you have enjoyed today's vlog and peace out. I'm Wemba Imani.